Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Get Wedding Ready with me, Wera Manola. How are you guys doing? I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. Today's video is one of the most important videos I should have made, that I have made. But today is a very, very important video. One of my friends was asking me the other day, she was like, Wora, what question should I ask a wedding planner? My brother is getting married. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I was like, you know what? Let me put this video together for you guys to know what questions you should be asking your wedding vendors. To be honest, these questions can save you costs it allows you to see the full picture of what you're getting from these vendors it allows you to be in line with your venues as well because you have to choose certain vendors for some venues and it just allows you to have peace of mind that everything is covered so in this video i'm going to give you 30 important questions you should be asking your wedding vendors and the way i'm going to do this video i'm going to break it down into categories i'm going to break it down into cost service experience team staff and on the day of your wedding don't forget to get a pen get a paper if you want to write down this question Questions, get a cup of tea, get comfortable. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 10,000. We're literally almost there and I can feel it. And yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the service. What kind of questions should you be asking about the service you're about to purchase or the product you're about to purchase? And the first obvious one is availability. You need to ask your vendors if they're available on your wedding dates. That was very simple. Second question you should be asking is for them to send over their packages or they might you might say brochures or price lists, whatever you want to call it, but you should ask for that so they have an idea of their cost and what services they provide. The third question you should be asking your vendors, if you have their wedding price list and their brochures and their packages, sometimes you might not see a service in there that you think fits you. You can go back to your vendor and ask them if they can create a bespoke package for you. This works a lot with planners, decorators, production companies, even photographers, videographers, caterers, loads of vendors can provide bespoke packages cater to your needs depending on what kind of envision you have for your wedding. So yes, you have the option to ask for a bespoke package. The next important question you should be asking your vendors is what else do I need to make my vision work? This is especially important for decorators. You know, you might ask for chairs, tables, centerpieces, etc. And you might have a very unique vision for your wedding. Go ahead and ask your decorator, what else do I need to make my vision come together to make my wedding work? pop you know you can ask your photographer you can ask your planner your caterer and they can advise you. and this is very good because these are experienced professionals and they can advise you and just give you advice that can take your wedding to that next level the next important question you can ask about their services is what else do i need to make this vision work an example i'll give you is if you go to a production company and say okay i need a dance floor i need uplighters and that's it sometimes they would advise you oh do you need a steam machine do you need a photo booth you know and you can say no 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 i'm fine but more often than not if you don't ask that question you wouldn't know so probe and ask and say okay what else can I get that can add to my vision, you know, for my wedding? Another important question I think is very important to ask your vendors is what is included and what's not included in services you're providing? I think this is very, very important for especially planners. People think planners can do everything and not every planner does everything. Not every planner would manage your guests. Not every planner would go dress shopping with you. So it's important for you to clarify what services are being provided versus what services are not being provided so that you already know and you have a clear picture of what to expect you know from that vendor and that's not to say that if you need an extra service they won't provide it you, as i said in the beginning you can always ask that question it'll probably just come at an extra cost the next important question you want to be asking once you decided on the vendor and you're happy with their service is to send over a contract some people might just have terms and conditions to also make sure that you have clauses clauses that can protect you if you need to postpone your wedding cancel your wedding or move your wedding to another location or something else so it's so important for you to have those clauses in place it's 2021 everyone should be sending you a contract there's nothing like email confirmation have everything written in contracts sign the contract and the vendor signs the contract and it's legally binding so make sure you have contracts you have terms and conditions that are clearly stated in the contract and go the extra mile and make sure that the clauses that protect you in that contract should you need to postpone cancel or move your wedding another important question you should be asking your vendors is do you take multiple bookings on one day i think it's very important for you to ask that question especially to makeup artists hairstylists that 
will tend to maybe do more than one booking so you just need to make sure that you get them and you're not wasting time because what happens is if a makeup artist has two bookings and has clearly you booked her for two hours but you're running late and she has to stay later she might need to rush off to the next appointment so she might not be able to stay later so if you know already that she might have more than one booking on that day it would help you stay in line with your hours and not go over and this is a very important question as well for planners you know any other vendor to see how many weddings they're juggling and this is not to say that you don't you shouldn't choose them if they have more than one wedding it's just for you to be aware of their workload and what to expect another question on services is to ask if your vendor can provide extra services for example your decorator might be able to provide chairs tables even crockery linen and you know glassware so it's good if you can get everything at once dj can provide the dance floor as well dj comes to provide dance floor maybe steam machine and other services so that you can get everything at once and you can probably get a discount if you get more your caterer for example might be able to provide linen napkins crockery um tableware um glassware etc and even your wedding dressmaker may be able to provide a wedding belt petite coats which is you know the big thing that goes under the dress a bolero a veil so it's so important for you to ask your vendors what else can you provide you know including in this service so that you can get everything on one if you get everything from one person it's more than likely that it's going to be cheaper than if you get it from different people now we're going to go to questions you should be asking regarding costs this question is so important and as a planner i learned this earlier on to ask this question so it's so important for you to ask your wedding vendors of any extra costs that may arise you need to let them know that this is the full picture that you have for the wedding this is what you're paying and they need to let you know what extra cost extra cost could be travel they might bill you if they need to travel to your wedding if they need accommodation for example your dj might stay till am i need to stay over instead of you know traveling back that night extra cost could be set up tear down especially for decor and dj you know people that provide dance floor extra costs could be transportation for goods like your cake person might be sending your cake to you or your bouquets might be you know being posted to you those are like extra costs you need to think about extra costs could be overtime if the vendor stays past a particular time like if your vendor has 10 hours or 9 hours in a package and they have to stay past a particular time what is that going to look like you need to be aware of that you also need to ask about assistance some people might bring assistance and you'll probably be paying for those assistance you know trials and consultations and meetings you know you need to make sure that all these extra costs you ask in the beginning so that costs don't spring up from different places and throw you off guard the next important question you need to ask is your invoicing and payment terms this is a very important question because when you think about the total amount of money you need to pay for a wedding it helps when you're paying everything in bits and pieces and the lower the deposit the better if you have to pay a 50 percent deposit on a 10,000 or 20,000 pound venue you know that is a lot of money whereas if they can make it 25 percent that reduces it drastically so ask for the payment terms and you can even negotiate if they have payment terms of 30 percent i can say no we're going to pay 25 first another 25 you can negotiate like the payment terms um some people might not agree some people might and also with costs you need to bear in mind vat <laughs> Uh, my worst nightmare so some vendors charge um vat that's 20 percent if you're based in the uk so you can add 20 percent on the already cost <laughs> because when the vendors send you packages they probably are not going to pull that some people say inclusive or exclusive of that so you need to add that 20 percent which increases the cost so it's something you need to be aware of another important one is some countries if you have a destination wedding some countries have service charge bless the united states to get married in america service charge is wild and the service charge differs from state to state as well so service charge in florida is high higher than service charge in, in new york is high as well whereas in somewhere else that is not as you know metropolitan is not as high these are the questions you need to ask about costs so that they don't spring up and you're not caught off guard and you have a full picture we're going to move into experience so questions you need to be asking to gather how much experience your vendors have and if they're the right vendors for you first question you can ask is how long have you been a photographer a wedding planner a stylist how long have you been in the industry this is really good for you to get an idea of the level of experience the person has it doesn't mean that someone who doesn't have as much experience cannot do the job because obviously their work will speak for it so some people are just extremely talented professional and diligent right so it's just good to know 
how much experience someone has and that might be a factor for you choosing for example a planner or a decorator or you know someone else especially the more complex the wedding is the more it's good to have someone who has experience because they would have planned or done an array of different weddings another important question that you can ask is can i see previous work you've done you find out that some vendors don't put their work on the internet especially some decor companies because they don't want it to be replicated especially if it's a very unique collection or something so it's always good for you to say can i see some of the work you've done because not everything might be on their page and you might see something that wasn't on their page that might be more to your liking so yes always ask for previous work if you're happy with what you see on their social media page then that's fine another question important question you should ask is depending on the style of your wedding you might want to ask if and again this is if you're not sold from their social media you might want to ask i'm planning to have a minimalist wedding have you styled a minimalist bride before for example if you're looking to hire a bridal stylist and all you see on their page is you know extra bright and all of that and you're very toned down minimalist you might want to say hey have you worked with any minimalist bride or a photographer if you're not into the really really, really colorful work or you like the photographer you can ask have you shot a wedding where you've had to tone down on color you can ask those questions so you can ask obviously pictures of a particular style or particular work that you're interested in and even your planners like have you planned this sort of wedding have you planned a small wedding have you planned a zoom wedding have you planned a big wedding have you planned a destination wedding another important question you should be asking your vendors is have you worked at my venue before now this doesn't mean if someone hasn't worked at your venue that you shouldn't go for them absolutely not but it helps for example caterers know a lot about venues so if a caterer has worked at a venue before you know that it's so much easier for you because you know they would have the right paperwork the right insurance the right everything that you don't have to worry about you know so things like this i think when it comes to caterers sometimes baby planners photographers it's good if they've worked at the venue before but it's not a deal breaker at all because there's so many venues out there and there's a the first time for everything but i think it's an important question especially um i ask that question a lot for caterers because caterers have to provide certain documentation and if you worked at a venue that asks for loads of paperwork it just makes my job a lot easier so i'll say caterers are the number one that i do and even decor because they would know the ins and outs what's allowed what's not allowed and how to make that space work so decor is another one that i tend to ask have you worked at this venue before another important question with experience is permits ha huh. so it's so important for you to ask these questions and you might not know but for permits health and safety permits for example for your caterers your drinks vendor and anything that has to do with food you want to make sure that they have certain you know permits another one is public liability insurance loads of planners will have that for djs for even for photographer anyone that is handling equipment basically public liability means if anything were to happen as a result of your wedding taking place at this venue for example if someone were to trip over and fall or if someone were to throw a drink on the dj booth or if someone was to break a glass rather than the venue coming to you for money you're already covered so it's so important for the certain vendors to have it and a lot of venues will ask that djs have it even photographers decor especially would have it and you know planners tend to have it as well so it's so important for you to ask that question especially if your venue needs that detail another important question when it comes to permits and all these things alcohol license so you might want to ask your caterer if they've got alcohol license if they're also producing your drinks you might want to ask your drink person or your bartender or whatever if they have alcohol license so it's so important to ask your vendors about licensing because that would determine if they can work at a certain particular venue now we're quickly moving on to their work how they work um, I think it's very important, especially if you're going to spend a lot of time with that vendor. The first question is, what's your response time? That is so important. A lot of vendors will have out of office that says they respond between 24 hours to 48 hours. But you can also ask that question because especially with your planner, maybe decorators and certain vendors that you're speaking to all the time, it's important for you to expect and understand and know what their response time is so that you're not sat waiting for an email that you just sent five minutes ago when the person's out of office is 48 hours or the person has explicitly told you we work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example. So it's so important. And this question as well, how do you work? I think this is a very important question. And I'm, I'm going to do a different video on for wedding planners. Let me know if you want that. Um, This is a very good question for your planner as well. How do you like to work? Do you have meetings in person? Do you have virtual meetings? How often do you have meetings? Do you send me a summary at the end of the day? Just ask how the vendor likes to work. And I think certain vendors, it's important like MCs, you know, you want to ask them how they work how they cheer the room what kind of jokes they tell you know the photographers as well how you like to work i think it's very important for certain vendors to ask how they work especially when you're going to spend a lot of time with them so you can get the vibe of them as well because it's so important for you to vibe with your 
wedding vendors. So how they work is a very important question. Next one is how do you like to communicate? And I think I accidentally spoke about this, but yeah, do you want like calls or do you have a WhatsApp group or is it text or is it Voxer or am I okay to DM you on Instagram? I think it's so important and vendors will set that boundaries because if they don't, you have people DMing them and texting them and WhatsApping them at odd hours. So vendors will always set boundaries and let you know, okay, we can do phone calls, you can send me a text, but these are the hours I work. What hours do you work and what days do you work? For example, if you know that your vendor doesn't work on Fridays, so you don't expect a reply on Friday. If you know your vendor doesn't work past 5 30, you know when you send an email, you're gonna get a response the next day and you're not freaking out. So it's so important for you to know how they work, what hours they work, and how they communicate. The next one is how many weddings do you do? I think this is an important question, and Bryce tends to ask me that question. I need to just have a picture of, of what kind of workload do you have so that you know what to expect. If you're the kind of person where you need an email every week, you need a call every week, you need to know what's going on, then you might want to get someone who can deliver that. Whereas if someone is going to cannot deliver that they have a lot of weddings and a lot of portfolio and they're a big planning company, then you might not expect them to be able to obviously adhere to that. So it's so important to know how many weddings they do to get to get a gauge of their workload. And again, this doesn't mean you shouldn't book them if you do a lot of weddings. It's just to manage your expectations. Another important question is, do you do consultations and trials? And as I spoke about before, you need to know if it's free or if that's an extra cost. Next important question you need to be asking your wedding vendors is, what is your delivery time? And this is for certain vendors like photographer, like when do you deliver the wedding album for your videographers, your wedding dress as well, like what are your lead times? How long will it take for you to produce the wedding dress? If someone is making a bouquet or making a cake, how long will it take for you to make the cake? So it's so important for you to ask for delivery times, lead times, so that you manage expectations and you know when to expect the service or the product. Another question you can ask is, do you do destination weddings? This is if you're planning to have a destination wedding and maybe on their page you haven't seen a lot of destination weddings. So you can ask that question, do you do destination weddings? And when you ask that, obviously you need to ask if travel accommodation are part of their cost or if you need to pay for that. Another important question you should be asking your wedding vendors is, is there anything you need to confirm with the venue? Caterers, we need to confirm certain things with the venue, like what they're providing, when they can set up, kitchen appliances and all of that. Your planner definitely will be working with your venue. Your photographer will want to have questions for your venue, your decor especially. So quite a number of vendors will need to know certain things from your venue and you can put them in touch with your venue contact or your wedding planner. So that is good that you're asking that question and you're preempting it because if there's something the vendor they need from the venue or the venue needs from them and it hasn't been communicated and your wedding is literally in two weeks time, that could be a problem. We're almost coming to the end. The next bit is the staff. Questions about the team and you know, how many people are in the team and how many people are going to work on your wedding? The first question here is, what does your team look like? How many people do you have in your team? And that just to have a feel on workload, managing workload, what the team looks like. And I think it's important for you to ask as well, how many people will be working at your wedding? So pre-wedding, like planning the wedding, putting the wedding together and all of that. And also on the day, very important. How many coordinators are you going to have? How many ushers are the caterers going to provide? Is your photographer going to come with assistance? Is your videographer going to come with assistance? It's so important to ask that question so you have an idea that your wedding is in good hands and you're not short of staff. Another important question to ask is what happens if you become ill or for some reason you can't work on the wedding? I think it's so important to ask that question so that you know that you're not going to be left in the dark or you're not going to be left, you know, panicking. The person might say, yes, my right hand person is going to come. I work with a lot of photographers that I can link you up with or a planner can say I have coordinators who can help coordinate the day so that you have peace of mind. And if anything were to happen, you know that, right? Yeah, I know that there's a plan B from this person's side. If the person can't answer that question, and then alarm bell should be ringing. Another important question to ask if this is something you require is will I be working directly with you? I have a team of people who work with me for my planning company. So you might have one of the planners working with you and not necessarily me, but it's still my company. But on the day, I will be there managing the coordinators, right? Photographers as well have team of photographers that help. And sometimes they might not be there on the day. It's so important for you and especially makeup artists, hairstylists, they might send someone else. And if you really want that person to be there or that person to shoot your wedding or work on your wedding, it's so important for you to to state that and you might pay a bit more to guarantee that person but if you're not bothered because you know they've trained their staff is good hands same quality of work then that's fine but it's so important because a lot of people find out on the wedding day where is this person and it's like oh i'm the one working they're like you know i think that's rude as well 
<laughs> I think you should tell someone else if someone else is going to be um, working on the wedding. But in terms and conditions, these vendors will probably have it that, oh, you know, it might not be me working on your wedding. Almost at the end, guys, the last bit is going to be your wedding day. So a couple of questions you should be asking. First one is what time would you be arriving? It's so important for you to ask that question so you know and you can create your wedding timeline or your planner will be asking that question. So it's so important for you to know what time they'll be arriving. Sometimes makeup parties may be like, oh, I'll be arriving at 10 and you're like, I need to be at church at 10. So, and they're like, oh, then you have to book me for maybe 5 a.m. so I can bring my girls into your bridesmaids and that's an extra cost because I'm starting before seven. So this is why you need to ask important questions. Do you require food on the day? Because they're going to be working. More often than not, the caterers will probably feed the vendors, but sometimes it doesn't come out of a catering package. You might need to get food for them elsewhere. So it's so important for you to know if you need to feed your vendors on the day or if they sort themselves out. Parking. Ooh. It's so important for you to ask if your vendors require parking and arrange parking. That has been a nightmare for some London venues. You guys know how crazy it is to get parking in central London. So it's so important for you to ask that question and arrange that. If you're forced about what your vendors are going to wear, you might want to ask that question. What are you wearing? So I'm very myself, okay, I'll come in black or I'll come in this. And if you have a particular uniform you want them to wear, you can ask them. So yeah, you guys, these are, I think they're a total of 30 questions that you should be asking your wedding vendors. I hope these questions have helped you to think about the services they provide, how experienced they are, the extra cost. Oh my gosh. Make sure you use this. Literally, if you want me to put together a guide for questions you should be asking your wedding vendors and break it down per vendor, I'll put that together. Comment below to show interest and I'll put that together for you guys because I think that will be so much easier and you have it to hand and you can print it out. So yeah, let me know if you want that and I will put that together. I will be putting together questions you need to ask your venue because that is another video on its own. I put this together based on obviously vendors, but venue I think I'm going to do because it's a different one on its own. And if you want me to split the vendors up, like the more important one, like what should be asking your wedding planner, your caterers, your photographer, I can do those individual videos. Just let me know um, by obviously commenting down below. So thank you guys for coming by my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video has allowed you to really think about what you need to be asking your wedding vendors in order to have a full picture of your wedding, in order to not lose money from costs that start arrive, arriving from different places. Yeah, that's it. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and don't forget to comment down below below any questions you have and i'll get to them again i'm a wedding planner mana lux weddings is my company on instagram we're at mana lux is my email i would love to hear from you if you need a wedding planner so or if you need any questions about this video or what you should be asking or vendors or anything wedding planning please hit me up and i'll be able to help you all right thank you guys and yeah see you in my next video bye guys